Hey guys, what's up? Um, this video, uh, probably half of you guys are gonna turn it off, especially after I mention the next word that's coming out of my mouth, which is uh, politics. So not to get to politics deep or get into politics at all with regards to uh, policies and all that other stuff, uh, or which party's the best and which party isn't, all that nonsense. I think what we need to really see when we think of politics, okay? Number one, politics will always be exactly that, politics. I want you to think about the time you were born and then look into history and just see four to eight years from the time you were born, uh, who was president and where were we at? Where, where was the country at at the time? And you'll see that you go from Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat, Republican. And, and then every year, and I'm talking about you can trace all the way back to my time when I was born or even my parents' time and my grandparents' time. It's all like a big game. You know, I think the main objective really uh, for politics is to cause uh, dissension amongst the people. So, you know, you get all of these promises and then you, you go so far right or so far left and, and you incite something inside people that want them to migrate towards your party. So whatever that may be. But the truth of the matter is, at the end of the day, the deficit for the country continues to go up in the quadrillions and nothing has changed in that and poverty still rises and there's still problems and for some reason we still have so-called racism which i'm going to categorize as classism and we still have more people that don't even understand the basics of our language and so on and so forth and you know education is supposed to be key and it's supposed to be number one and we see teachers get paid nothing and, you know, whatever the, the government, you know, gets their hands on, it just doesn't seem to work. And, and politicians, remember, a, a politician is like a, a doctor, a policeman, um, I mean, whatever, you, a fireman. You know, they're just someone who has been groomed in this area of politics. And so it's in their best interest to make sure that that something's stirring, that things are happening, that they have something to fight for and fight against and problems back and forth. And that's how they stay viable and that's how they keep their jobs. And so all of these people are still doing the same exact stuff, exactly the same thing. But you know, the one thing that they can count on is that dumb people like us are going to always find something to debate and argue about with our fellow brother, with our fellow neighbor, with our fellow coworker, and, and even sometimes our fellow spouse. And that's the problem. So what happens is they stir up and cause so much dissension that at the end of the day, we're fighting each other for a cause that is really moot there's nothing going to happen nothing's going to change and i know that sounds pessimistic and believe me i'm the last person that i am is a pessimist but the reality is they're simply just trying to hide behind this facade of helping us and then we're fighting and vying for this and that meanwhile the whole time we're relinquishing our power and authority to them in the process. And that's really where ultimately everything falls, is that we're actually giving them our power and all we're doing is helping them with their politics by hating each other, by cursing each other out. And you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to unfollow you and you'll never be my mother again and all this nonsense. And meanwhile, the politics, in the government stay exactly the same and i know you're gonna say well you know uh things have changed from here to here and here to here and it's like really the change hasn't been all they've done is relabel things all they've done is re-scramble things reposition things reorder things 
but everything is exactly the same. As a matter of fact, the country is worse and worse and worse. Now, I will say the world, but let's just stick to my country that I was born in, the United States of America. And if you're an American and you were born here, or even if you weren't born here and you call yourself an American, or if you live in America and you're an American, and you're proud to be an American because this is the country you were born in. So regardless of all that, I'm just using our country, America. But let's just say human beings in general, right? If we wanted to just go global, the whole thing is it's the same it's the same psychology, okay? They incite things in us through a myriad of ways. Now, here's the thing, is that we all know it. You know, you ever go into a department store um, and someone starts coming towards you and your gut, your gut actually tells you like, uh-oh, boom, and red flag goes up. Or you're having a conversation with somebody and they go, yeah, I was there yesterday. I mean, they be, oh, I mean, <laughs> sorry, last Tuesday, it was actually this week. And you know, it doesn't take much to know, right? And you know that, again, in your gut, boom, red flag goes up. These are the red flags that we get every single day. And we know, we know inherently inside of us what is right and wrong. And we know, again, inside of us that these politicians will say whatever in the world. You ever turn on the news? <laughs> and I, I really, sh you should refrain from news, but let's just say uh, through Instagram or through a friend or through a newspaper or through some sort of uh, message board. And you go on and it says, oh, this person said this. And then you click another channel and it says, well, they actually said this. And then you go here and it says, this person said this. And then you go to another channel and it says, well, they actually said this. And then you don't even know what, who's saying what, and what did they really say, and when did they say it, and when were they for this, and when were they against it, and why are they for it again after they were against it? And that's the game of politics. And the problem is, we're all pawns. And I believe, and the reason why I'm adamant about this message that I'm sending this to you, is that we, the people of the United States, okay? Again, I'm just, I'm just, specifically mentioning the United States because this is the country we're in. This is the country that just so happens affords me the ability to hold this phone so that I can speak to you, the public. So yes, the world, human beings, believe me, but let's sp stick to this country specifically. We are the people of this, of this country that make this country. Now, if exterior forces from outside start coming in and they start chopping and dicing us up and separating us and segregating us and putting us in little compartments and then not only do they do that but we allow it to happen and then they cause dissension in between everybody here so that we stay in our own little you know quadrant well we're part and parcel of the problem and that's the thing if we all just realize Nothing, absolutely nothing of any significance has changed in this country. And they keep on promising, promising, promising. So forget about all this nonsense about Democrat and Republican and red and blue. You're just being fooled and suckered into choosing a position, a silo. At the end of the day, we know what's right for us. We know what's good for us. And if we kept on, if we keep on being pigeon held into these little spots, then it's shame on us. Again, pick the year that you were born and just check from that year back for eight years and see if anything has changed. If I owned uh, an accounting firm and I hired an accountant and he's the top accountant, and I say, okay, here is a, a business that is in disarray. I want you to fix their numbers, find out what the problem is. And then once you find out what the problem is, come up with a solution and come up with a plan of action so we can fix this problem because that's what I'm paying you big time money for. And that's what I hired this person for. And then he comes in and he says, oh, okay, I think what happened is A, B, and C, and one, two, three, and I gotta change this, and this is what we have to do. Okay, and then we implemented it, and guess what? Now the deficit has doubled. Then I hire somebody else, because this guy sucked. And then he says, and I, 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 I pay him more. 
And then he says, oh, okay, I gotta do A, B, and C, one, two, three. And now the deficit quadruples. And then every time I put somebody in this position, it just so happens we keep on getting more and more into debt. So why can't we realize that the country, one of, they hire some of the smartest people, oh, so-called smartest people in the world, can't figure out numbers. Numbers are definitive, okay? They're absolute, okay? So $1 and $1 is going to equal $2 in this country, okay? We're not talking about what the actual dollar amount is worth in other different countries or what uh, the dollar amount is worth here with the decline of the dollar rate. We're just saying $1 and $1. One plus one is going to equal two. So, we keep on seeing that the deficit grows okay it's not even it's not even plateauing it's growing every single time and then they have to charge us more taxes and then they pull it out of our salary and then it goes back into this big pot this wherever this goes and then supposedly it goes into all of these other factions except then we see these politicians and they say well it's not going here it's actually going here and this is going to go here and they're allocating all of this money and then we say well what did we taking the money out for then I don't understand and back to the analogy if I had an accounting firm and I'm hiring people that are actually making the dollar worse or the deficit worse isn't that an actual problem isn't that something that you should see for yourself and go I don't know man I don't think they're actually um, either doing a good job okay so that's at the worst case uh, least case scenario but the worst case scenario is that they're purposely and purposefully not doing it for a reason. They're not going to fix anything for a reason. Meanwhile, these politicians stay in office forever and ever and ever, and they boast about how they've been in this business for X amount of years and doing, but nothing has changed. Because when these people go on a rise, you got these people blocking it. And then when these people go on a rise, you have these people blocking it. And it's like, really, are they fighting amongst themselves and then we're, we're caught in the crossfire? Or are they actually getting anything done? And the, I wholeheartedly believe, and, and if you're smart, and if you understand what's going on, and if you just see things, again, don't look at politics as something that is so near and dear to you that, you know, in your own dumb passion and your own rage or ignorance that you, you just forego everything else. Just look at it for what it is. Look at it like a smart human being, someone that knows someone else that knows someone else and see how the interactions in your everyday life go. We all know the truth. And I think that the reason why I'm passionate about this is because we're really turning into a decrepit country if we haven't already. And it's because we're imploding from the inside. We're hating each other, debating each other, arguing with each other, trying to kill each other. And it's like, for what? For what? I think we need to wake up. We are going to be much more powerful together. And, and this is so cliche, but the truth is everybody knows it, but nobody seems to do anything because you've believed the rhetoric. You've, you've, you've committed to left or right. You've committed to red or blue. You've committed. And when you've committed, you've basically left your brain at the altar and you decided you're not going to think anymore. And by not thinking, you're just simply living on emotion and passion. And the thing is that it's driving you to hate other people because all of this stuff back and forth is never going to be fixed against so I'm not saying this as a pessimist. I'm saying this as a realist. And the only time this is going to change is if we finally, as human beings, forget about this stupid nonsense about black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, Asian, whatever, Indian, it doesn't matter. Like these are all labels that have been placed and we've accepted those labels by the way but they've been placed so that they can be so they can separate us so that we can bicker amongst ourselves while they go do all of their pie in the sky nonsense and then com and continue to sell us the new dream and then another four years and another eight years another 16 years and so on and so forth and by the time you know it you see that nothing absolutely nothing has changed or affected your life now, the truth of the matter is we do live in a powerful country where we can 
do a lot of things and we can live the quote unquote, uh, quote unquote American dream, but not if we're going to buy into the rhetoric, not if we're going to subscribe to just two little baby parties. That's not going to happen. You have to be an independent, someone who thinks and understands for themselves. And you have to be someone who, again, it takes, we can get much further together than apart. And once we realize that all of this stupid stuff with, with racism and classism and all this other thing, really just the labels that have been separating us and we believe the lie. And not only did we believe it, we appended ourselves onto it. Once we believe that and just kind of for a second erase that and throw that out of our head, we are going to be far, far, far better together and grow exponentially once we realize that. Now, I may be someone who's just living in this bliss by thinking that, and I'm sure that there have been millions and millions before me that have thought about the same thing, but forget about the whole thinking and everything. Listen, if anything fails, I believe it always comes down to me, okay? So yes, you know, this person didn't do their job, this person said this, this person didn't do this, and this person wasn't reliable. Yes, 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 that's all true. However, if I was part of that, that puzzle, so to speak, then I am to blame for that and I take responsibility for that. But I believe if we all thought like that and took responsibility collectively, we can accomplish anything. And that's really where I'm hoping the trajectory of this conversation, this, this thought that I have here for you, that this pushes beyond the threshold of your everyday, mundane, you know, thought process, this mechanical process. I'm here, I'm here. I'm not here, I'm not here. It's very robotic. You gotta break out of that nonsense already. And if you want something more for your life, you're gonna have to push through that proverbial glass ceiling and you're gonna just have to grab it because no one's gonna give it to you and we most certainly are not gonna get it by handouts and we most certainly are not gonna get it by anybody saving us. We most certainly are not gonna get it by any politician. We most certainly are not gonna get it by the government and we most certainly are not gonna get it by any particular party. We are gonna get it because it's something that is it, first of all it's something that we're born to have it is our right and that's why we're going to obtain it and we got to collectively work together to make sure we understand that it is for us it's right there anyway guys i'm sorry if uh, it sounds like a rant i am passionate about it but i am logically passionate about it i've thought about a lot of things and there's a lot of things that just needed to completely get obliterated in my brain and I need to I needed to break out of that mundane robotic everyday systematic inculcation of what is real what is not what is fact what is good what is bad we have been in fed that nonsense since day one and nothing has changed pick the day you were born find out four to eight years prior where we were at, go skip all the way back to this present day, 2024, and find out if any policies affected your life in a way that you would have liked it to affect it, all right? None of the frivolous stuff, but the way it really needed to be affected where you can actually say you are enjoying life and you're enjoying where you live and you love this country because this is the country you were born in and forget about all the labels of who he said, she said, and who they are, but that together, individually and collectively united, that we will take this country to where it needs to be in the right way. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say. It's now almost 19 minutes. I apologize. Looking forward to hearing from you. I'm sure I will hear from some of you again. All right, peace.